Welcome back at 611 Storm Team 8. Meteorologist Ashley Baylor here, my friend who I've never anchored with I before. Know. So very happy to be here this Saturday morning. I know, and I started in January 2019, and I have been waiting to share the desk with you, buddy. Today's the big day. I know, and we're going to have a great day. I mean, you woke up on a fantastic morning. It's quite comfortable out there. Yes, you're going to notice that humidity when you step out the door, but it's not to the point that you feel like you're waking up in Aruba, although that would be nice. So here's a look at your weekend planner, where today we are going to be mostly dry. We are waking up to a stunning sunrise across the state. We will see a mix of sun and clouds throughout your Saturday, with temperatures back in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. We hit 90 in Hartford yesterday. We're going for 90 degrees again today. I don't think we're going to call it a heat wave because temperatures are going to drop slightly tomorrow, but it will stay nice and warm on Sunday with temperatures for the most part in the mid 80s. So here's a look at our satellite and radar composite on this Saturday morning. As you can see, northern New England really not dealing with any clouds, but across Massachusetts and to Connecticut, Rhode Island, we have been tracking a mix of high and mid-level clouds through the night, but as promised, that would make for a stunning sunrise, and I think on our long wharf camera is most beautiful sunrise I've seen since I started here in 2019 and we have a beautiful sunrise over the Whaling City. Here is New London temperatures around 68 degrees and a beautiful shot of the Bark Eagle. This looks like a postcard and it's gorgeous. 64 degrees in Windsor Locks right now. It's 64 in Waterbury. We're waking up to 71 here in New Haven. It's 62 degrees in Lisbon. Now dew points are in the low to mid 60s inland. We're closer to the upper 60s at the shoreline. So as I said, you'll feel that humidity when you step out the door but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. Even going into this afternoon, it shouldn't feel uncomfortable tolerable, if anything. Now, of course, the breeze would be nice, but winds are calm across most of the state. But later on, winds will switch out of the south, so you will get a nice onshore breeze if you're heading to the beaches with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s there. If you're putting your boat in the water wave heights, right around a foot high today, and the tide will come back up between 530 to 7. It's actually up right now. So here's our hour by hour forecast showing you some of these clouds dragging their heels through the morning. We will see a mix of sun and clouds going through this afternoon and there's a two in 10 chance. One or two of those clouds may attempt to squeeze out a quick isolated shower this afternoon. I do think that'll be the exception and not the rule as most of us will stay dry, although we desperately could use some rain, but let's at least keep the weekend dry for outdoor activities. As we go through the overnight hours, some of those clouds will stick around. We could be waking up to some patchy fog for Sunday morning. But overall, Sunday is looking like a beautiful day, decent amount of sunshine. But then as we go from Sunday night into Monday morning, looks like some more clouds will move in along with some wet weather. Finally. I sound like the rock there. Finally. So today, sun and clouds, an isolated thunder shower possible. Temperatures around 87 at the shoreline to 90 degrees inland. Tonight, scattered clouds, a little patchy fog as temperatures dip into the 60s. And then tomorrow, just a nice summer day for the Greater Hartford Puerto Rican Parade. I hope to see you out there. I think we all hope to see you out there. Here's a look at your eight-day shoreline forecast where we are going to be tracking some soggy conditions on Monday. Expect some scattered rain that day. And we hope the models don't last minute change their mind because we need the rain so badly here in Connecticut and it looks like it won't just be one day but some scattered showers look to continue right through Tuesday. Now is it going to be enough to completely alleviate this drought? No, I'm cautiously optimistic that maybe we'll just put a slight dent in it because our models are giving us anywhere from an inch, two inches at best, but I would say around an inch of rain between those two days. All right.